Stan Johnson uh, from Decatur, Georgia. I am 39 years old and I am a documentary and street photographer. I like to document the African American community as Atlanta is constantly changing and we're seeing more and more of the community being pushed out into different areas. So I'm trying to uh, document what we still have left in Atlanta um, just for future generations to see how Atlanta was and where it's currently going. I'm born and raised um, in Atlanta, Georgia. So I was born at Grady Hospital. My mother and my father are both from Atlanta, Georgia. All of my family still lives in Atlanta, Georgia. So it's very important for me as a photographer to focus on the city that I am currently, currently in and where my family is born and raised. Primarily it's um, focusing on portraiture, um, black and white portraiture um, of just everyday life of people moving throughout the city, people of the African American community, but not limited to. It took me a while to find my voice as a photographer. So um, bounce around from digital cameras to film cameras to Kodak, Portrait 400, 800. None of that really spoke to what I was trying to convey when I'm, I'm out documenting my work. Um, and then I started kind of going to more museums, looking at photo books and things like that. And I saw that the work that really resonated with me was really just black and white photography. Um, so I started to kind of do my research, um, looking for different film stocks that really spoke to me. And the uh, Triads 400 was used by some of my favorite photographers, Gordon Parks, the um, Saul Leiter, um, Marilyn Nance, photographers like that. And I was like, hey, that's what I want to do. That's how I want my work to look. I want the nostalgic feel of those great photographers. If you look at their work, it's just the, the relationship that they have with their subject. It's the, it's the intentionality. It's, it's getting to know their subject, um, building a relationship. It's, it's, it's deep. It's, more, it's so poetic if you really look at their work. It's, you just fall in love with the image. It's more than just an image. It's a story. It's art to me. So I would want my body of work to be remembered as, um, as a person who really took the time to get to know their subject um, and, and really build on a relationship with the subject. Um, and I would want that body of work to live either in photo books or in museums and and exhibitions uh, throughout the, the states as well as the world. I just want to be remembered as a guy with this camera that photographed everything. That's it.